In this video, we are going to see how we can record MIDI into Cakewalk by BandLab using MIDI devices. Of course, we need a MIDI controller or MIDI keyboard or any other sort of MIDI device to do this. We can use our PC keyboard as a virtual MIDI keyboard, but it cannot record the velocity information that is the hardness with which we are hitting the notes. So if you still haven't got any MIDI devices and you want to buy one, check the description of this video for some suggestions. Now let's see how we can add an external MIDI device into Cakewalk. In my case, I already had a very old keyboard that happened to support MIDI out. So using a MIDI to USB cable, I connect it to my PC. This window is asking us if we want to add the device into Cakewalk. Of course, yes. Now I'm going to expand this piano track so that we can see the inputs to this track. If you don't see this, click here and select I.O. Now if we go through the inputs, we can see that our MIDI device is not yet here. So we go into the preferences and then select devices under MIDI where we can see the keyboard connected through the USB. So we are going to enable it here and then click OK. So now we can use our keyboard. Now I'm gonna expand all the tracks. Now here in the input of the bass guitar, none is selected. We are going to click that, hover over all inputs and then select MIDI Omni. With this option, we don't have to think about the MIDI input, channels or any other MIDI settings. You see this Wi-Fi kind of logo? Well, this is input echo which needs to be enabled for us to hear what we are inputting through the MIDI devices. Here we have it set in a way that it will be turned on for whichever track we select. In any case, if this is not following the way like here, open up the preferences, then click on playback and recording and make sure this option here, always echo current MIDI track, is enabled. Alright, now we are ready to get into the basics of MIDI recording. First, we select and arm the track that we want to record and then move the playhead to the place from where we want to record. Then to keep us in time, we can enable this metronome during record and then we simply hit the record button or R on the keyboard. So here is the recorded MIDI clip and we are going to open it in the piano roll view. Let me make it full screen. And now we can fix all the wrong notes that we played. If I change the resolution to 1 by 8, we can see that these notes are not at all in time. It is fine if it is not perfectly in time because it makes it sound human, but these are way too off. We can fix all of them by quantizing them. We are going to select all of the notes, then press Q on the keyboard. I think we need a better resolution like 1 by 8 or something. I also want to quantize the note durations but not be very strong about it. Like I'm going to reduce the 100% to around 92 so that it's not too perfect. And then I'm going to press OK. Yep, the timings are pretty fine. Now let's see the different recording modes of Cakewalk. We can see them by long left clicking the record button. So here are the different recording modes. Now the graphics on top of the record button is an indication of what recording mode we are in. Now the first one comping is more important during audio recording. So we will be looking into that in the next video in which we are going to see how we can record audio in Cakewalk. The next one, our right, is quite self-explanatory. To make it clear, if we have this mode selected and then try recording into this same track from this point to this point, then the already existing MIDI data in this region will be wiped out for the new data. Now the last one is sound on sound, which I think is the most suitable for MIDI recording. Because with this mod, the newly recorded data will get merged with the already existing data on the track. So now, to this left hand piano pattern, we are going to add the right hand pattern using this sound on sound mod. The recorded MIDI data actually is here, it's just under this MIDI clip. Now if we click on this button here, 
we can see that the two different record takes were recorded in two different take lanes. How a take lane is created during recording will depend on these options here. The first option, takes create new lane, will create a track lane every time we hit record, no matter what. Then we have takes reuse existing lane, by which Cakewalk records into the same take lane as many times as we record. Then finally, takes reuse existing lane unless takes overlap. That's what we used. And here we can clearly see that our recording take was overlapping on an existing data. That's why the second take lane T2 was created. It is totally fine to keep it that way, but I prefer to merge the clips that I work with. So I'm going to select all of it, then right click, then click bounce to clips. So now it's a single MIDI clip. We can also see the clips were merged in the take lane view as well. Now we can skip the process of arming the record button every time we want to record, maybe for speeding up the productivity by going into the preferences and then enabling this option, allow MIDI recording without an armed track. Okay, now we don't have to arm any track for MIDI recording, we can record MIDI into any track that is currently selected. Now I'm going to delete this MIDI clip, then add an instrument plugin to record some MIDI for this project. So this is Synth Master Player and I'm choosing this preset. In order to come up with a melody by listening to the project, I'm going to select this area and hit Shift plus L to loop it. One eternity later. Okay, I think I got a melody, but this strings is distracting me, so I'm going to mute that. We are almost ready to record, but before that, if I hit R, it will start the recording immediately and I don't want that to happen. So we are going to bring up the preferences and then click on metronome and our project and change the zero of record counting to one. So we get a metronome counting of one measure. We are ready. Let's hit R. We can copy it by holding down control, but I'm going to show you that it is possible to record directly from the piano roll. So here we have the track focused and we are going to hit R. There we have it. Leave a like if you found this video useful. In the next video, we will see how we can record audio in Cakewalk by BandLab. This is ADK and I'll see you in the next video.